Hi, it's Tracy at Whirls and Swirls Quilting. Today's design is involving circles again, but I want to show you something a little different, just to show you how you can break them up. So I'm going to do a circle with like an S shape in the middle of it. So it's a circle, S, S back, and then echo. Make them all different sizes. Put a couple in there with nothing in them. Echo around till you get back to where you want to be to fill in the space. And then here, just to make it interesting and give it a different texture, we're going to break it up a little bit with some lines. So I'm just going back and forth. Sneak up the ditch where you have to, and then go back to doing my circles. This is certainly not a quick design. I like to add other things when I'm doing a background filler, just so it doesn't, it can get really tiring looking if you're looking at a whole sea of one shape. So to break it up a little bit, just makes it more interesting. And you can do this with any design. Break it up with something else. I'll sneak down the ditch. We'll pretend that's a ditch. And come across here. Do a couple of smaller circles. They don't all have to have something in them. This is just an S shape. S, S. Ooh, well, that's more like a wiggle. I was going for S on that one. S, S, there we go. S, S. And I try to make sure that if I'm doing something like this, that these are all going in different directions as well. Sneak up there and just fill that in with a little with a little line. And then we can just stop anywhere and hide your stitches. So that's today's design. It's more modern. And that big empty space is probably for tomorrow, but I haven't figured out what to put in that one yet. So anyways, take some time to doodle. And um, thank you for watching the videos. And thank you for all the comments. I really appreciate it. And um, I really like doing them. I feel like I'm getting to know everyone, and it's really cool. So thanks again, and we'll see you tomorrow.